Now, the first leak that I want to discuss for this video, remember to take this information with a grain of salt because it's more or less a load of horseshit. Nothing is confirmed until it airs on our screens on August 21st. The first leak that I wanted to mention is that apparently it's going to be a pretty straightforward timeline, meaning that the actual first four episodes of this series will feature the younger actresses of Queen Alicent and Princess Rhaenyra. Apparently, this person mentions that the time jump will happen in episode 5. And from that point forward, we're going to be dealing with Emma Darcy portraying Rhaenyra and Olivia Cook portraying Queen Alicent. And another leaked scene, this one's kind of confirmed by the trailer, is that Rhaenyra gets her arm cut by Alicent. Like, basically, uh, Lucerys is charged by Alicent. Like, Alicent grabs the dagger and charges at Lucerys and tries to slash him. And then Rainier jumps in his way and sort of gets her arm cut. There's obviously a Kingsguard who grabs the knife. But it's mentioned that as soon as Alicent does this and she sees the blood welling up in Rainier's palms, uh, she immediately realizes that she's gone too far. And apparently this leaker thinks that Olivia Cook's acting talent is really showcased in this scene. All right, now real quick, before I jump into the rest of the leaks, a uh, special shout out to these individuals right here. They are all members of my Patreon family over on patreon.com slash their hunts reviews. If you're unaware, Patreon is a way to directly combat YouTube delisting my videos and making it so that I don't make very much ad revenue. It's basically a way of saying, hey, here's a couple of extra dollars a month. I really appreciate your shit, man. Right, so the next scene, this is more of like a leaked image, right? So we got these images that were uh, leaked online of this pig that looks freaking delicious and this looks exactly like the pig from that infamous picture in fire and blood queen alicent and princess rhaenyra and this is the moment where the greens and the blacks is decided like we can see alicent walking into the throne room sort of like an all eyes on me moment right and this is from that scene we will have a very uh, we'll say cinematic moment that will be burned into our minds for the entirety of this series and that will happen when we see this pig in between Alicent and Rhaenyra and King Viserys and the Queen's party and the Princess's party, the Greens versus the Blacks. And the next leaked uh, scene or part of the plot leak that I want to mention is these images that we have of Rhaenyra and Damon on the beach. These are some of the first images that were ever leaked from the uh, Cornwall shoot right over in the UK. These are images from Rhaenyra and Damon's wedding. They're sort of like walking the beach after they get married and we see that Rhaenyra is wearing something similar to this. She just sort of dresses down for their walk on the beach. Now leaks aside, one of the most interesting things about this moment is this is probably a real Valyrian wedding. The main reason why I say this is because if we look uh, at Game of Thrones season 7? Right? We see Rhaegar and Lyanna getting married in front of a maester who's performing a traditional Faith of the Seven marriage. Their hands are bound by that silken cloth, and it looks like in Valyrian rituals, motherfucking hands get cut open, and they bind their hands in blood. It would be interesting if that's not the same cut that is caused by Alicent, uh, and, you know, Damon has to cut a fresh one, and they bind their hands together. But as a fan, I am really interested in seeing what George gave them information about uh, for Valyrians, because Valyrians of old never had one dominant religion that uh, they all believed in. The Valyrians themselves believed they were the gods, right, in, in worshipping statues and made up things are part of the past the targaryens and the valyrians pictured themselves as gods on earth in human form so they worshipped themselves and their dragons right but they knew that their kingdom uh their slaves rather would worship someone so they would allow them to worship many different gods uh hoping that they would never unite under one banner or one faith right so it's it's specifically mentioned that some of their dragons are named after valyrian gods of old but the ancient valyrians didn't actually believe in gods they probably believed in something related to the 14 flames right so they worship the dragons or they worship the places in which their dragons come from and each of those 14 volcanoes that were part of the 14 flames in the Valyrian Freehold is probably named uh, for a different Valyrian deity. So they sort of worshipped um, themselves almost, right? All of that aside, it'll be really interesting to see what Valyrian traditions are passed down to the Targaryens post-doom of Valyria.
Also, I'm pretty positive in these moments, the two of them are speaking high Valyrian to each other. Like they're saying their wedding vows in Valyrian. Now the next uh, leaked scene or that I want to talk about is uh, Matt Smith was recently doing an interview in which he talked about how Caraxes is really moody and how he enjoyed flying on him. They have this flying rig and I'm showing you images of Jon Snow and Daenerys from the later seasons of Game of Thrones. They basically have a very similar rig. Now what's, what's interesting is that... Uh, in this interview, Damon does mention that his dragon is moody, and that we, when we see in the trailer, Damon is not on Caraxes or hasn't mounted him yet. He does so in in the in the books in 105 AC, and I've been sent leaked information through the DMs over on Twitter. Speaking of which, make sure you go follow me at Sir underscore Hunts. That mentions that Damon gets bit and burned by Caraxes at first when he tries to mount him. He is unsuccessful in his initial attempt, and he basically just uh, gets away or is satisfied by just stealing a dragon egg. So when he does this, uh, he's obviously confronted by Sir Kristen Cole and Sir Otto Hightowers. Let's mention that Sir Otto obviously, or not Sir Otto, Kristen rather, gets the best of Damon. Like Damon is a dragon knight, but at this point in the story, he still doesn't have his dragon yet. So apparently, Kristen uh, nearly moodily, mortally wounds Damon, and when this happens, a dragon can be heard screaming in the background, and it's fucking Caraxes. Caraxes swoops in and knocks Kristen Cole out of the way. This leaker said that Kristen is, uh, like, basically just barely escapes with his life. Like, he's not really that injured, and he does have burns on a side of his body, uh, but it, this is when Caraxes, like, this is when Damon mounts Caraxes, and it's apparently all related to that scene of him stealing the egg for his child that Mysari is pregnant with, Mysari is his concubine, and he's going to escape with her across the narrow sea, right? Or at least he tries to do that. But this is when Damon supposedly mounts Caraxes, according to this leaker. This next thing is something that I just noticed from watching the trailer a bunch of times. What's happening when they put that egg on the uh, sort of like brazier is they're quickening the egg, right? So the dragon will lay a clutch of eggs and then it looks like the Targaryens of old learned how to do this from the Valyrians, right? So it's just probably made up for the TV show, but will eventually become canon. So after the dragon has the egg, if it doesn't quicken, it eventually turns to stone. We saw that in the main series with Daenerys' dragons. Then she quickened them by putting them into the fire and then hatched them by sacrificing Khal Drogo and Miri Mazdur, right? So in this scene where Daemon's putting the dragon egg on the brazier, that's to quicken the egg. And then uh, the leaker from before that mentioned where Caraxes was being mounted by Damon and like Damon is uh, burned and bit by Caraxes initially, like when we see him laying the torch on the ground, uh, eventually Sir Otto does recover the egg. And then the last couple of things that uh, a few other of my sources mention is that in episode 9, we will get the origin of the High Tower story. Like basically the old town connection to the High Towers and the Maesters. And apparently this person mentions that so. Sir Otto will hint at a Grand Maester conspiracy. Now, that's probably a load of complete bullshit. And then the, the last leak that I want to mention, and this has somewhat been confirmed by the casting of the Baratheon daughters, is that the final scene, the last sequence that will happen in House of the Dragon Season 1, Episode 10, is the battle above Storm's End, and ultimately the death of Lucerys and Arax, and like where Aemon becomes a kinslayer. Now, this is a good point to wrap this video up. I've already uh, added my thoughts along the way, so let me try to run through these leaks one more time. Uh, first person mentions that the time jump happens around and between episodes 4 and 5. Um, there is a famous scene involving that pig from the image where the greens and the blacks are actually announced, like the queen's party and the princess party. Um, there's a leaked scene where Rey has her arm slash hand cut trying to protect Lucerys. We see that in the trailer. Um, these images of Rey and, uh, Rhaenyra and Daemon walking on the beach are actually from their wedding scene. Uh, we see that in the trailer as well. Uh, and then we have, you know, I mentioned how Matt Smith was talking about uh, how flying on Caraxes and they have this little uh, rig. Another thing is that Damon gets bit and burned by Caraxes at first. 
Then after Kristen nearly wounds him mortally, Caraxes appears and kills all of Sir Otto's men, except for Sir Kristen. And Sir Kristen then, um, Sir Otto escapes, like, probably unslayed, he's probably got a few wounds. But Kristen is apparently uh, burned on his body and, and is quite shaken from the scene with Caraxes. Uh, and then lastly, the brazier scene is how the Targaryens quicken the egg. That's just my own personal thoughts. Um, according to the leaked information, Sir Otto does get the egg back. Uh, and then the last two things are, in episode 9, we will get the origin of the Hightower story with Sir Otto hinting at a Grand Maester conspiracy. I told you, that's bullshit. And then the final thing is that the battle above Storm's End and the death of Lucerys and Arax are going to be the season 1 finale. If you all enjoyed this, please do me a massive favor and slap a like on it. Like goal is going to be 420. Also, special thank you to these individuals right here, and a special thank you to every single person watching this video. My name's Mark, and this has been Sir Hunts. Reviews along that and then freeze us a boostari a hexos da war.